Diane Bass is a criminal defense attorney who specializes in federal crime and has handled many white collar cases. She joins us tonight from Orange, California. Diane, good to have you with us. If this stands, won't Thank you it for make it me. Uh, easier for unscrupulous uh, traders to trade on inside information? Not at all. I think that what the Second Circuit did with this, this decision was that they upheld, upheld the rule of law. And this is a glorious day for the defense bar and for the law everywhere. Basically, what the judges said in the Second Circuit was that a person has to have an intent. We learned this the first day of law school, as you know, that there is a mental element to every crime. And so in this case, it's a knowledge requirement, which makes the conduct willful. If it is not willful, then it is not criminal. So your argument is that there has to be guilty knowledge and intent for it to be criminal, but courts still could unravel trades based on inside information if the person trading didn't know what they were doing. Uh, so civilly, there, there, there's still recourse against people who trade on insider trading. I'm not a civil practitioner. I would imagine that there would still be recourse, but criminally, they can't be liable if there's no knowledge. If they don't specifically know that the person that provided the information was an insider with a fiduciary duty to the corporation, then they are not culpable criminally. But doesn't this go too far? I mean, why take it further and, and, and say that the person trading on inside information needs to know that the tipster was getting some benefit? I, I can understand Absolutely. about the knowledge. You know, I, I, I know that if I have inside information and I take advantage of it, I, I certainly shouldn't avoid criminal liability. But should I avoid criminal liability just because I didn't know the tipster was getting any benefit? You know, I think that, yes. Absolutely. I think that why is that even something that you should consider? If you don't know that this person is getting a benefit, then that makes you even less criminally liable. Not only did you not know that the information was coming from an inside source, somebody who had an obligation to the company, but you also didn't know that somebody was getting a kickback or some sort of remuneration for their conduct, then you're definitely not criminally liable. So I think it's quite the contrary. I think that it does not go too far at all. I think that it is a perfect application of the rule of law that requires intent. Well, talking about the rule of law, Congress hasn't legislated clearly about this. Shouldn't it weigh in and avoid the confusion that's created by a patchwork of court decisions? Well, that's always the question, whether the legislature should decide the law or whether the Supreme Court should. In this particular case, I tend to agree with you only because this petition for cert is asking the Supreme Court to decide on the rule of law because there is a split in the circuits. And out of the 10,000 cases a year that the Supreme Court is asked to review, they usually only accept 80. So it has to be a very special issue, or it has to be um, something that has grave importance. And so, again, if it is that gravely important, certainly the legislature should weigh in. Now, if the Supreme Court does not grant cert uh, or takes it and lets the decision stand, could we see, prosecutors are worried about this, a whole bunch of convictions overturned? It depends. If it's a constitutional issue, there are different ways to appeal cases in federal court. There's a 2255, which has to be based on new, new evidence or a change in the law or a constitutional error. And um, it is possible that certain people within certain circuits could be asking to have this reversed. Again, there is still a split in the circuit. So it depends on which court your case was heard in. Complicated but important. Uh, Diane Bass, yes, uh, thanks for, uh, for trying to make this clearer for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Have a Thank good night. You. In Oklahoma